Hi and Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 7. We are going to present our case study 3B. From previous case study, we are required to design the block diagram for methanol composition in top and bottom column. So in this case study, we need to determine the stability of both loop and tune the controller by using offline Cohen Kuhn tuning method and online Ziegler Nicholas tuning method. So next is transfer function. Transfer function uh, for this report, uh, 3B, report 3B, uh, for the top methanol column and bottom methanol column. Top methanol column is uh, for the distillate and bottom methanol column is for the boiler. So, we look at, at the bottom methanol column. Uh, first, we have to calculate the sensor transfer function. So, after, uh, G, uh, so for the tr sensor transfer function is GM. GM is equal to KM where KM is 100 minus 0 uh, divided by 100 minus 0 equal to 1. So, GM equal to 1. So, move to the controller transfer function. We have to assume is a uh, P controller. So, GC equal to KC. Next is final control element transfer function which is GV. GV is equal to KV divided by tau PS plus 1. So, uh, that is the transfer function of GV. So, GV equal to 3030.30 uh, divided by tau PS plus 1 after assumption. So, la, uh, for so for the last for the bottom metal column is process transfer function which is gp gp is equal to xb apostrophe s divided by b apostrophe s so gp is equal to negative 0 0.00146 8 plus mm, divided by tau ps plus 1 Okay, so move to the top maintenance column. Top maintenance column for the sensor transfer function which is GM and controller transfer function which is GC is same which is GM equal to 1 and GC equal to KC. So, final so next is final control element transfer function which is GV. GV is uh, for the top metal column is 0 0.15515 divided by tau ps plus 1 lastly is process transfer function which is gp for for uh, this gp for uh, top metal column gp uh, we use xd uh, because of this delay and for the for the bottom we use xb because of boiler so gp for the top metal column is negative 0.04712 divided by tau ps plus 1 everyone i'm kanchana and today i'm going to explain about root stability method the block diagram below shown is for the bottom methanol column okay let's see the stability range for kc at bottom column the characteristic equation is 1 plus GP, GV, GM, GC which is equal to 0. Since we already know GP and GV value, we will substitute into this equation and simplify and we will get this equation. From this equation, we will fill up root table. Tau P square is the AN and 2 tau P is AN minus 1, B1 and this one is a n minus 2 the formula to calculate b1 is a n minus 1 times with a n minus 2 divided by a n minus 1 by solve and we solve for the kc value and the kc value we got is kc is smaller than 0 0.22 is top methanol column the block diagram shown is for the top methanol column Okay, stability range for Kc at top metal column. The characteristic equation is still the same which is 1 plus Gp, Gv, Gm, Gc which is equal to 0. Since we already know Gp and Gv value, we will substitute into the equation and simplify it and we will get this equation. By using this equation, we will uh, fill up the root table. And the, as we know, the Br formula is An minus 1 a n minus 2 divided by a n minus 1 and we solve for the kc value okay and we got to know that kc value is smaller than 140.076 so next we move to kohen kuhn method the assumptions are for the valve at the top of the column the molar flow range is 0 to 15 mol per min 
for the final control element at the bottom of the column, the range for QR is 0 to 3, 300,000 kechal per min. The signal are all given in terms of 1 until 100 percent of signal. The valve dynamic for both control loops are negligible compared to the process dynamics. The range for both sensors are 0 to 100 percent signal for 0 to 100 percent composition of methanol respectively. The KM is 1. For bottom composition, the KC for P controller is 117.65. While for PI controller is 93.14 and for PID is 150.33. After doing the simulink, the graph look like this for P controller, for PI controller and PID controller. Next for the top compositions, we are refer to the graph E and F in order to find for the GP value. So for the condition one, we are refer to the graph E when the refract stride R change is plus 5% change. And also for the condition two, we are refer to the graph F when the refract stride change is negative 5% change in order to calculate for the GP2. And next for the fit rate, we are refer to the graph A and B to find for the GD and the best and for the condition one we are referred to the graph F when the fit rate change is past 5% change. And for condition two we are referred to the graph B when the fit rate change is negative 5% change and in order to calculate for the GD2. So for the transfer function we need to calculate the average value for the GD and also the GP value. And these are the information I'm given based on the questions. And to find the GPRC value, we need to use this formula. Then based on this equation, we can find the K tau and also the delta. So in so after you obtain this value, we can use this to find for the turning parameter for the P, PI, and PID controller. And this is the simulating for the top column. We need to sub the turning parameter for P, P, I, and P, I, D right here, and also the G, V, G, P, G, D, and G, M that you have obtained previously in order to get the graph for the P controller, P, I controller, and also the P, I, D controller. Next, for online secret nickel turning method for both bottom column and also the top column, the first step is you need to set the KC value for the P controller. For the KC value, you need to try and error until you get the graph like this, so that you easy to so that you will easy to determine for the value of PU. So after you getting the value of KCU and PU, then you can calculate the parameter for KE, TI, and also TD. After you after you calculate this value, then you can run this run the program in order to get the graph for the P controller, PI controller, and also the PID controller. We also same as the top for the top column, set the KC value, then determine the PU from the graph, then calculate the value for KE, TI, TD. Then after that, run the program in order to get the graph for the P controller, PI controller, and also the PID controller. Thank you. In conclusion, in this study, it's only focused on the development of block diagram for closed loop. The stability analysis was carried out by using general stability criterion and root stability criterion to obtain the turning parameter KC. That's all from us. Thank you.